Hey, how you guys doing? This is Tino with LAPC Networking and um, I want to make this video for all you guys who purchase an update or upgrade radio for your BMW um, and um, you know I recently purchased the CarPlay option that's like a little adapter that you connect to your um, this type of radio and you connect your lightning cable to that uh, but unfortunately I didn't have I didn't find any support how to make it work and I was scratching my head and trying to find the option and I contact uh, the support but it's it's right now it's midnight and you know I don't want to wait until tomorrow or the next day for them to answer me how to do it I saw a video on their website saying uh, that you download to the SD card from the SD card uh, you put it on the back of the this radio and install it so I found a different way that I want to show you just to make it easier. Uh, but what I will suggest you to do that, uh, first I will recommend you to download File Manager. So you go to your apps right here. You make sure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Like my car has uh, Wi-Fi, so that's what I'm connected here. So you're gonna find and download this application, File Manager. So once that you get that application, uh, go to the browser. And on the browser, you're gonna type this address. Uh, www.fixmybw.com I mean head unit uh, I'm gonna put the link on the description so that you see this so you're gonna scroll down and then you're gonna find Apple CarPlay help download the CarPlay link so for some reason they didn't send me instructions so I wanna do this video to make it easier for you guys because it was a little hard for me with no instructions that's technical support for mapping uh, but uh, so you're gonna click on this link right here and that's gonna take you to the actual uh, APK um, this one right here APK sorry or APK whatever CarPlay uh, blah 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 so once you click and download it you're gonna go home over here let me focus my camera so you go, go home and then you go again to your apps you go to file manager and this is the storage of the radio this is the storage of the SD card so I'm gonna go to the storage of the radio because right here download that I go to downloads and I have the APK right here so as soon as you click on this it's gonna ask you this if you want to install it and all that you click install and then it's doing the option and installing the APK, the APK or APK. So you just click done. Once that it finish, it takes you straight to this um, um, application that is the actual CarPlay. It was a menu before because I previously installed it and it will show you a, a green icon and it will say if you want to accept and allow to set up your USB as default and then you click OK. So right now, the way that I'm gonna connect it um, right now is gonna give me the full CarPlay uh, option to work into the car. So just to let you know, just to show you how it works or how it looks the app, I'm gonna scroll to the next next page, and now we have this. Uh, let me see if I can see it because my light is really bad in here. It's a little icon like the car, the green car play icon that says phone a link. Let me see, I can make it lighter. Here you go. So you see it right here? Uh, it has the car play icon, but it says phone link. So probably for copyright reasons, I don't know. So now when I click this, I'm gonna be able to connect my, um, I'm gonna put my connector on the actual phone. And right now it's doing the connection. It will pop a message saying if you wanna allow CarPlay. But if you see, we have it right here. We have full CarPlay and give you the option of the phone, uh, music, uh, maps, um, now playing that will whatever if you're playing uh, YouTube if you're playing your music it will take you there uh, something really nice is that it has Spotify and you can download more apps 
to make it uh, work in here. Like in this case, WhatsApp and TuneIn Radio. I don't use any of those, but but it's a nice option to have. So, and you see, completely touchscreen. Uh, there is your home button, your signal. Same like those Pioneer radios and all that. And uh, works great. Uh, as soon as you touch the home button, allows you to do Siri. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm actually recording from my phone uh, connected right now on the cable. But I wanna do this quick video just to show you uh, because I mean USA doesn't have a support video on this and it doesn't show how to download to the SD card. So you don't really need to download to the SD card. You can do it straight from the radio as long as you have a uh, internet connection and you can install it through a file manager the way that I show you. I hope you guys like this video and hopefully um, having USA share this video too or make a better one. <laughs> just uh, to make it easier for us, the users. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.